Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new episode of the Broken Cat for your lovely host, well, Broken Satsu. <laughs> and here in this episode, we're going to talk about Power Ranger once and always, because tra a trailer finally dropped for that special, thank God. King Oger, Jeet, many other things as well. So yeah, let's begin. Okay, so let's, okay, so uh, before we start this. Uh, remember when I talked about my last podcast about me getting a job? I know, I know. Why Why I'm talking about my IRL life, I want to start with this first. So, this week, uh, I was supposed to be at a job interview. I even told you guys that, that last week I got a job interview. So, how was it, Boku? I didn't go to it. Let me explain why. They canceled on me. <laughs> they canceled on me. Well... That wasn't the best. I, I, I guess they have their reason, but uh, yeah, but yeah, they uh, canceled on me. So that's just that's just great. Should have got. Am I a little mad? Yeah, I am. Not gonna lie, I'm disappointed as well. I'm trying to get on my current current job as as possible as all as fast as possible. And well, for me, update you guys on every episode. Yes. Oh, by the way, this is by the way. Uh, this is this is uh, episode thirty of the podcast. Episode thirty. I know, crazy, right? <laughs> this is episode thirty of the podcast. Never expected me to reach thirty episodes. <laughs> Jesus Christ! But yeah, here we are, thirty episodes. So yeah, uh, right now my eye of life is all right, but uh. I'm, I'm keep, I'm keep saying more applications out and every day, trying to get, trying to get, trying to find a better place to work at. Cause I really don't like where I work. So yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's going on. So move on with that. Uh, let's talk about Toku. So my uh, Zenkaiger, so my, my not my Zenkaiger, uh, the essay. So uh, last week I went on Amazon. And I found a uh, figure that I don't own. I'm actually happy that I, I'm actually happy that I finally own this guy, <laughs> and yet find that, yet find about him that I didn't have to go like I, I didn't have to go through like multiple websites trying to find him. Granted, I did almost bought him off Ninden Games, but I didn't. I found I found I found him for like for a very decent price on Amazon for free shipping. Well, who I'm talking about? Well, I'm talking about the SA figure art Zenkaiger Black. You know the Tamashi Nation, the, the Tamashi Nation. Uh, web exclusive figure from last year. I have him right next to me. He's a, he's a sexy figure, and boy, he is so good to play around with. Now I had two versions of Kaito in my collection. Collection: the Zenkaiger version and the Dawn Brothers version. To be fair, I, to be fair, I like the Dawn Brothers version a little bit more than Zenkaiger version, mostly because in Dawn Brothers he's just the mentor type and just. He just basically been a decade of that show, and I love it. <laughs> if we talk about Dawn Brothers, I miss Dawn Brothers, dude. I can't lie. Well, I'm happy that while well, I'm happy that King Golders, King Golders, uh, happening now, dude. It can't replace. It can't replace the hole that was Dawn Brothers for me. Cause fuck, I love that show. <laughs> you know, it knew he was cooking for uh Dawn Brothers, and well. <laughs> Yeah, he did. I missed that show so much. I missed Taro, Tsubasa, Kinjiro, Haruka, Sorry Brother, Jiro, Donato. Fuck, I miss all the characters. I, I, I love that show. It's stupid. It's stupid. It's in no way just being in no way. And yeah, I, I fucking miss it, dude. I miss Dawn Brothers. God damn it. Speaking of no way, apparently, uh... Now, now this is a rumor, but uh, apparently, but uh, it looked like it looked like that uh, the five cats are gonna, are gonna do like a little bit of a reunion somewhat. What am I talking about? Well, it showed that oh, on Twitter it showed that it showed that the show that the five cats are gonna do like, do like a little bit of a freaking reunion. It looked like. So do you know how Hurricane Jr. and Abba Ranger cats did like a little, like well, can't say press conference about. Well, like like a little uh movie like like a little bit of interview for the triumph anniversaries, 
Yeah, it looked like Fi is gonna do the same thing. And well, we both know what happened. We both know what happened after those two t uh, cast introduced a special project they're working on, a twenty anniversary movie. Somewhat, I'm expecting gonna expect that Fi is gonna Fi is gonna do the same thing. And well, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> In no way. I, I'm, I'm not expecting a lot from Inoue because Inoue still have a lot. I still have, Inoue still have an answer a lot of unanswered questions about Fies. And to be fair, I don't, to be fair, I don't remember that much from Fies. <laughs> the last thing I remember from watching Fies was 2020 and I, and I had like a hard time watching through that show. <laughs> Talk to me about the only exception, what the only thing that I like about that show. <laughs> and I still love talking to me. He, He's my fucking golden boy, that show. Ay, ay, ay. Fight had a cool, fight had cool suits, cool monster designs. The theme song's a banger, one of my favorites. And yeah, and, and talk to me, well, I love, I love, I love, I love talk to me. Moving on. Don't like Mai. I just, I just don't like Mai. I just find her really annoying. So, yeah. Anyway, moving on <laughs> from that. Uh, yeah, let's talk about Power Rangers. Alright, so. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Damn, damn it, phone. Shut up. Sorry about that. My phone's going off. Alright, so. Uh, let's, let's, let's talk about Power Rangers. So, what are my thoughts on Power Rangers? Me, once and for, once and always. Uh,. Huh, good question. <sighs> okay. I'm actually excited for it. Here's why. While I have my issue with, uh, with, why I have my issue with how Hasbro's running the Power Rangers and brand by stuffing a lot of MMPR nostalgia and stuff. Moving aside from my issues with Hasbro and the Power Rangers and brand lately, this special felt like a love letter to Power Rangers to the, to the Power Rangers community. And you can totally see it though in the trailer. And I'm actually that actually really good. I'm excited for that. And also one of the crazy uh voice actor from uh Jew Ranger want to watch this so badly as well. Well I'm gonna say this for those that live well, outside of the U.S., you might. You, for those that live, for those that live outside the U.S., you uh, you uh, might need to do a little something to watch this. If you know what I'm talking about, we just. If you know what I'm talking about, arg, arg. That's all I'm gonna say, arg. For those that, for, the, for those that get the reference, and you know what I'm talking about. But, uh, yeah, I'm actually excited to watch this. This looks really good. Can't lie. There are people on Twitter that are complaining, saying that, uh, saying, uh, that this directing, this, like, this, this thing, this thing felt cheesy, or, like, or, like, it's not on the same level of Kamen Rider or something like Yeah, no, duh! No shit, sure, like, not supposed to be. Comparing, like, the, comparing, like, the, compare, like, the choreography in... Now compare like the choreography to this tra trailer to like Mono Kamen Rider, it's totally unfair. Same for Sentai, like for, like, for real. I can't. I the community, the community expect way too much to be honest from uh from Power Rangers, and like guys, come on, this this uh special isn't gonna be on freaking King Oja level of awesomeness. Same for for Kamen Jeets. Hell, Ultraman level. Nah, it's not not meant to be like that. The direct, it's not it's not meant to be on the same level as Sentai, Kamen Rider, or or freaking fucking Ultraman. Excuse my language. Nah, it's its own separate thing. And it's doing well. It's no one. Well, it's its own separate thing from those three franchises. And let's keep it that way. I feel like when it comes to uh. I feel like when it comes to Power Rangers, people would want love it or hate it, or other or other people or other people just trash them because how cheesy it is. Like, 
let's be honest. Every tokusatsu show, every tokusatsu show is cheesy. Not just toku, anime as well, comics. Like, come on, don't don't freaking lie to me, you motherfucker. <laughs> I read comics too, okay? And comics, comics had the most cheesy one-liners. Especially in Spider-Man comics. The old school Spider-Man comics, oh my goodness. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. It's just like, I'm excited for this thing. 100%, I'm excited for it. The trailer looks good. I, I got my, I set like a uh, reminder on my Netflix to remind me to watch this thing next month. It, it's like what, 55 minute special? It's going to be really good. It's going to be really good. It's going to be really good. Also, I can't lie. I love the fact how yet, how yet, uh, David Yeltsin is wearing his, uh, wearing his, uh, wearing the, uh, Lightning Collection Blue Ranger helmet. <laughs> the best way to promote your freaking, uh, the best way to promote your freaking helmet, your freaking toy has, but make, Make a current, make the uh, most fan favorite Blue Ranger actor wear it to promote. I love it. It's funny but stupid. But they fair at the same time, Power Ranger, Power Ranger is, is a toy commercial. So moving on. But yeah, I'm actually yeah, I'm actually excited for this thing. This looks really good. Walter Jones is there. Rocky's there. Fuck, I love Rocky. Listen, all right. Alright, this might be crazy though, but uh, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be a little bit honest here for saying this. I'm gonna be a little bit honest for you for saying this. As much as I like Jason, I was always more of a Rocky Rocky fan than Jason fan. Why? Right? Because I don't see a lot of people talk about Rocky. You know, people crap on him when he was in Zio. While I have my issue with the writing there for him, but I like Rocky since day one. So. So hold on that too. So yeah, but so yeah, I'm happy. I'm freaking I'm fucking happy that uh, I'm so fucking happy that uh, he's in this special. My goodness, my boy was kicking butt. That's for sure. Then you got cat in here. Hell yeah, the better pink range between her and Kimberly. Don't that me? <laughs> yes, I'm not. I'm not arguing you for I'm not. I'm not arguing with y'all about this. Cat is Catherine. It's the better Pink Ranger, better MMPR Pink between her and Kimberly. Just, just saying, don't at me. Y'all gonna come at me? Nope, don't come at me. I'm just being honest with y'all. But, but still, move on to that. It's pretty, this special, this special look really good. And I think we already know who's gonna be the Yellow Ranger in the special. Let's be honest. We, we already know who it is, guys. We already know who it is. <laughs> And I can't wait, and I can't wait to see her, I can't wait, her, I can't wait for her to do a debut saying it's Morphin Time. With the, with the freaking Lightning Collection, <laughs> Yellow Ranger Morpher. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, to be fair, at least, not, well, to be fair, at least, at least they aren't using the Bandai, um, Legacy Morphers. <laughs> but some people are speculating that they are, but, uh, I digress. But yeah, the special look really good. I'm at, it looks yes, I know it's supposed to look cheesy at the point. I'm actually excited for it. I'm actually excited for it. While I'm not the biggest MMPR fan, I do have nostalgia watching the show when I was a kid on Toon Disney. Yes, my more my more power ranger was on Toon Disney a long time ago in the early two thousands. So yeah. I'm yeah, I'm excited for I'm excited to uh watch. I'm excited to watch this thing. It could be emotional because we both know we all know why. But uh it's gonna be it, it, it gonna feel like a how you say it? it's gonna feel like a love letter, that's for sure. And no, I'm not buying the remaster MMPR blue and yellow lightning collection figures. I don't care for those. Moving on. <laughs> but yeah, this special looked really good. I can't wait to go watch it. Uh, let's see. What else up for Power Ranger? Uh, no, that's it. <laughs> just a spe just uh, just the once always special. Oh yeah, the trailer for that special was hit the 
this week the trailer was number one on trending on YouTube, and that was really cool. That was really cool. That was that was really cool. I'm not gonna lie. That was really cool. Us Power Ranger fans and Tokyo fans in general gotta be re, gotta reunite for reunite and stand tall for this. This looks really good. Why did this look way, why did this look way better than Dino Fury? <laughs> I'm sorry. I should be taking. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But I just had to say. I'm just, I just had to say. Damn. This like. Damn. This uh. This trail. This trail looks so bad. Then the then the first. Then the first two. Then the, well, the two seasons of Dino Fury. I didn't even like Dino Fury. <laughs> Moving on. Moving on. This special looks really good. Also, hold on. Hold on. I want. I want to get a shot. I want to say this. So, one of the Ray Tokus, the one of Ray Tokusatsu podcast, the one, the one Ray Toku podcast. You guys give me a shout. Out. <laughs> Can I get a shout out to uh to to the one Ray Toku podcast for because well, for well they gave me out they get they get they called me out. <laughs> well, Knox did. Knox called me out because I asked him, "Hey boy, can I can I be part? Of, can, can I be the the new?" Of the podcast, he said nah. He said nah because that the pod his pod because the podcast needs a white man and a black man. <laughs> yeah, yeah it does. <laughs> yeah it fucking does. <laughs> I kind of find it funny how yeah every token podcast I watch has like a one black guy and one white guy. One Ray, Tyson Collins boy Tyson, in in home heroes and heart. Here in the home, Hargent. In here, uh, fuck, damn it. I'm put do. Here on Hargent. Fuck, damn it. Hold on. Hold. Fuck, damn, damn it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This, this, uh, this episode is, uh. This episode is so uncensored, you can tell. I'm an idiot. I'm a. Forgive me. Please, fucking forgive me. I'm a, I'm an idiot right now. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Okay, okay. Okay, let's, uh, what the fuck's going on? Okay. Okay, Henshin and Homies. That, that was what, I'm sorry. Yeah, Henshin and Homies. That, that was the podcast name. Shout out to this guy. Shout out to this guy. I've been in the podcast like, what, three times already? Damn, I'm that popular. <laughs> Two times for Dawn Brothers, one time for Black Sun. I recommend watching those episodes with me and it's very really good stuff. But yeah, though. Uh, but yeah, though. Shout, shout out to uh, Run the Ray Tokyo Podcast. They are a... I'll put a link to the channel description. They are... They, they are funny guys. I talk to them a lot. They're nice. They're nice. They're funny. Nox is. Uh, <laughs> Nox is. Well, Nox is, Nox is one of the most funny niggas I've ever met. <laughs> Sorry. Nox is one of the funniest people I ever met <laughs> on uh, on Twitter. And also, I was a guest in the podcast last year. So, you want to see that episode? It's, it's on the. It's on the. Uh, it's on the account. <laughs> so, yeah. But still, shout out to them. They're really cool up they're really cool people and uh well I can't well I guarantee I guarantee you guys I guarantee you guys will like them. They just uploaded they just up, they just uploaded like the latest episode today. <laughs> it was a good episode. It was a good <laughs> it was a good episode. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> Fucking Nox in the comment. God damn it. Ay ay ay. Okay, okay, okay. So let's so let's talk about Toku toys. So what's going on for Toku toys this year, for this month? Well, Shin Kamui just came out in Japan, and her I heard I heard a lot of good things about it. Some mixed reviews. Even though I have, even though I'm trying, I'm trying to stay away from, even though I'm trying to stay away from the, from the reviews. And spoiler alert, cause I want to watch this when it comes over here in America. Just saying. But uh, anyway, 
the fucking, uh, the SA figure art Shin Kamen Rider bike just came out on Premium Bandai. It just came out, it came out last night, by the way, I just want to clarify that, and, uh, a friend of mine, <laughs> shout out to my friend Inferno, he is, uh, <laughs> he is suffering right now, I can say. I want to say suffering, no, he is having... Yeah, he is suffering big time because Bandai is coming after him and his wallet every day, every fucking day. Ay, 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 every fucking day. And uh, this is just, this is, this is the punch in the face, to be honest. Like, damn, listen, I don't, listen, I didn't pre, I didn't pre or Shane or Nigo, unfortunately. I didn't pre or Ichigo and Nigo. Why not? Well, I could put your Nigo now, but at the same time, there's no point for me to do it because I don't have Shin. So, if I, if I want, if I, if I, if I didn't want to put your Nigo, I had to go hunt down Shin. Well, she needs to go. If I don't have Shin need to go, I didn't pre order him. So, Nigo won't happen for me. That's like, that's like basically me saying that, uh, oh, okay, I pre order Shadow Moon, Comrade Shadow Moon, but I don't have Black Sun. That's basically what it is for me. And don't worry. And yes, I have Shadow Moon on pre order. Come on, SA figure, come on, Shadow Moon on pre order. He's coming out next month, actually. I'm actually And to be honest, I can't fucking wait for that figure. Dude! It's, it, and funny enough, the irony about this that uh, I, I'm re watching I'm, my freaking uh, next rewatch after I'm done re watching Time Ranger. I'm going to be re watching All Black Sun again. Why? I feel like it, and uh, I want, and I want, I want, to, I want, to, I want to go through like a second rewatch of it, because lately I've been in the Black Sun mood, and um, oh shit, uh, that yeah, lately I've been in the Black Sun mood, and uh, boys, uh, it reminded me, it it reminded me how much I love this show. Also, I took like, I took like a lot of Black Sun pictures on my Instagram. Go check it out. The pictures, the pictures came out pretty good, and my God. My God, <laughs> I cannot, I cannot wait to go ham once the Shadow Moon figure comes out. Oh wait, hold on, my my chair is acting weird. Oops, sorry about that. But uh, yeah, but uh, yeah though. Uh, just uh, but yeah though. Uh, what's up again? Yeah, Shadow Moon's heart. But yeah, uh, I can't wait. I can't wait till uh, <laughs> I can't wait till Shadow Moon's figure comes out next month. Cause the fig, the, the Shadow Moon I've been using for my pictures is the Senkoku Seiho one. Why? Why him? That's the closest. Cause that, cause, cause that's the closest thing I can use for Shadow Moon for now until the Black Sun version comes out next month. And yes, yes. Yes, I have the bike on pre-order, and I will pre-order the figure civilian. Coach Rowe and Nomisko. <laughs> dude, you don't... Dude, you don't understand how much I fucking love this show. I made a post about it on the community tab, on my community tab, last night. And, uh, I've been thinking... I've been thinking... I've been thinking a lot... I've been rethinking really about it a lot lately. And I... I, I remember talking about my last episode, but, uh... It was, um... Me telling my story last, my, me telling my re, my reason last episode of the podcast about why I love this show, why it connects to me personally, got me emotional, and uh, still I still think about it because yeah, if they are saying that episode was true, I see myself in the show, and uh, there were there, there are some there are some there are similarities that happened to me in IRL, and uh, well, that uh. That struck me, it hit me, and uh, it got me emotional. Everyone has that one Toku show that felt so relatable to them in a good way or a bad way. And uh, coming at Black Sun, I wasn't expecting the show to uh, hit me, hit me for personal reasons. No, it just fucking did. It just fucking did. Because I was expecting this show to be like another like Amazon's, but nah, nah, nah. Now this show just did a one eighty, and uh, just, just, uh, just, 
they showed that one eighty. They showed that one eighty to me. Like yeet. I'm like oh, oh, oh damn. Oh uh, fuck. I I fuck. I relate to this. What the hell? <laughs> it just punched me in the face. Alexa, turn off. Please forget that. <laughs> I forgot. I told uh. I forgot. I told I told my Alexa to uh do something, but never mind. But yeah, uh, this epi this uh this show. What I wasn't expecting the show. I wasn't expecting the show to get on my good side. No, I was like for the show. I was expecting the show to be like a hey say Amazon kind of say, but nah, it did like a freaking one eighty. While a revise wasn't for Mega say I didn't I didn't like revise. I'm happy that others did, but just there's something about this show that you hit me, hit me only. If, if if you don't like Black Sun, that's totally fine. It's not for everyone, but this show hit me personally, and uh, there's a reason why. I if if, if you want to hear why, go watch my last episode. I talk I talk I talk about it in there. But uh, this show I wasn't, I wasn't expecting this show to hit me. It's funny though. I told my friend. I told a friend. I told. I told my friend this on Twitter that uh, this show was basically my. <laughs> Why well, I'm gonna say it like that? Okay, fuck it. This show is basically my version, my revise. <laughs> that sounds weird. That sounds weird to say. Yes, but hear me out. What I mean by that? That uh, while while people while people were suffering, while people were having. But while Revice helped people through the IRL moment, IRL life, Revice didn't do that for me. In fact, it did the opposite for me. Black Sun, on the other hand, from uh, after we watch, after watching the first time, I felt different. I felt like I felt like I connected to this show, and uh, I couldn't stop thinking about it ever since. I still can't stop thinking about that ending. That fucking ending. Jesus Christ, dude. There are shows out there that people can relate to and fucking love. Like, fuck. I really... Fuck. Shows, shows that I can relate to, like, in Toku, is fucking a uh, cure major. Why? There are a lot of... Sim there are a lot of similarities that I see myself in cure major. Not just cure major. There's Black Sun. There's Build. Hell, there's a uh, freaking Decade himself. The show, I could go on and on and on, but I'm just gonna use the hell no, fuck, uh, SPD Power Rangers SPD as well. But yeah, but yeah though, yeah yeah though yeah though there are there are shows out there that people relate to and find and find themselves in, and I know and I'm not, and I'm not the only one, but I just it just Black Sun just hit me, it just hit me. And I fell in love with it. it. It hit me on an emotional note. And I saw myself in the show. I'm like, damn. This show's fucking good. I love it. <sighs> While Revice didn't get me emotionally, I'm happy that I'm happy that I did for other. It just it just didn't hit me for the ending. The ending was just not good in my opinion. But Black's on the other hand. Fuck that uh that scene, that fucking scene with Cultural and Owie, damn it, that 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 got to me. That that took that got to me. Tears came out of my eyes. I fucking love it. I fucking loved it. Sorry about sorry sorry sorry. I'm getting emotional right now. I'm getting emotional right now. So what we're talking about? Oh yeah, Shin Kamurai. Uh, yeah, the bike. Well, for those that bought the bike, well, for those that for those that pre-ordered the essay figure Shin uh, Ichigo and Nigo, by the way, Nigo's on Premium Bandai US, and uh, if you want him, he's on there. The US release, for I, I think, yeah, I, I I think so, I think, because I I I also heard that uh. I also heard that uh, Ichigo the well, Nigo's coming out at the same time for the for the U.S. release as the Japanese release as well. So yeah, 
But if you don't want to use Premier Bandai, he's also on Toku Like the no. Nah. If you don't want to use Premier Bandai, he's also on Toku Like the Bolts as well. And uh, well, Nin Nin Games and your other import site you can buy him from. So it's your choice. So yeah. What about you, Boku? Oh, I didn't pre-order him. I I don't have Nigo on pre-orders, so there's no reason for me to get him. And that well, that saved me money too. <laughs> That saves me, Mike. I'm broke. Like, like I'm fucking broke, too. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, moving, yeah, moving on from there. Moving along from there, but uh, yeah. The bike, the Shin, the Shin Ichigo bike for the figure art looked really good. It looks really fucking good. The trailers look really good for Shin Kamen Rider. I'm actually, okay, okay. The the trailer for Shin Kamen Rider looked really good. I can't lie. God damn it, this looks fucking good. I can't wait for it. I I know that a teen comrade I know that a teen comrade said like what they want I think what like what think anime expo last year that uh they're, that uh they're going that uh, that we're gonna get like what a US release? We're gonna get like Shin Kamara over here in the US. And if that's true, then I can totally say it well. We have Shin, we have Shin, we have Shin Ultraman, we got Shin Ultraman over here, and that was, a, that, and that was a huge success over here in America. Me and my friends, and all Tokyo fans went out to see it, and that was really good. I love that movie. I can totally, I can totally see, uh, Shin Kamari happen over here. Before that happens, I gotta go do some research and homework on, on this, on, <laughs> on this freaking, uh, well, on this freaking uh, show, on this movie. <laughs> now I'm talking about, let's just say that uh, there are a lot of other characters that, that Imori, Shoto Imori created that weren't part of com the original Kamen Rider. And well, there, well, there's a lot of inspiration from the manga apparently in here, which I have not read. Gotta go buy that off Amazon, <laughs> that long ass, like, like what, like what? 2,000 page book. <laughs> Not just... <laughs> ay ay ay. Ay ay ay. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, yeah, apparently, uh, this movie had, like, a lot of celebrity, to a lot of token celebrities in there. Like who? Well, this movie had Shane Ultraman himself in it. And, uh, and the female protagonist from Shane Ultraman. I find it funny how, yeah. I find it funny how yeah those two those two those two were in an Ultraman movie, not in a Kamen movie. Also, Shinken Red's actors in this movie apparently. I find like what I think one of the villains. You know, I'm like, oh damn, wait, that, oh oh crap, it is him, huh? Bobby, damn, the mo the motherfucker's back after, <laughs> the motherfucker's back after well. Well, the well, the motherfucker, the motherfucker is back from <laughs> from at the praying taco room. <laughs> I love taco. I love I love uh, I love taco for Shin Kenja. He's my favorite. He's, he's like my favorite ranger in that show. But yeah, uh, but yeah, but yeah, this is uh really cool. I can't. Yeah, this is this is really cool. Can't can't really go watch it. I'm I'm excited for it and nervous. Unfortunately, I don't have I don't have an Ichigo figure art to to show my happiness for it. <laughs> but yeah, uh, um, this movie looks really good. I can't wait to go see it. The visuals, the the soundtrack, the, the acting looks so good from the trailers. It looks so beautiful. I can't I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait till this movie comes over here because that's gonna be so good. I'm buying a ticket to watch this. Sh I don't care. I'm buying a ticket. While my, while my fam, while my family, if you like, well, my brother, about my brother, my brother fell asleep to Shane Ultraman. My mom did it. I want to watch it with them. I'm going. I'm going to watch this. I'm going to watch this in theaters. And I'm, I got. I got to wear my best camera shirt. Saying, Hey, shit. Oh shit. Because there weren't like a lot of, but, well, well, seeing the Shin Ultraman movie, there were, 
did, there were a few Toku fans over here where I live at, but not a lot. <sighs> but hey, I'll, but hey, but hey, I'll take, I'll take what I'll get. But yeah. But yeah, uh, but yeah, Sheen, uh, Sheen, Sheen. Yeah, seeing this movie is, uh, really good. Seeing this movie could be really good. I can't wait. Sheen Ultraman hype? Not Sheen Ultraman. Fuck. Damn it. Sheen Kamen Rider. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Sheen Kamen Rider hype. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. <laughs> Sheen Kamen Rider hype. What the hell, boy? I'm tired. I think you can tell I'm tired. I'm so sorry. I'm I'm so sorry. I'm literally tired as you as we speak. Have like no fucking energy. Speaking of something I'm being tired. Like uh if you guys haven't watched my uh, last video it took me like I think I don't think I can say that but uh the Goku and Vegeta video took like two weeks for me to work on. And dude, that drink, that video, working that video drink the crap out of me. Because I put, I put all my time and energy in making a script, then uh, fixing the script for the final version, then, then, then go and, then go to the editing phase of making that whole video. And it was crazy. It was, it was crazy. It was crazy as fuck, but uh, yeah, it was pretty fun making. It was fun. I will, I, I will like to make a part two to it, but at the same time, nah, nah, the vi nah, the video did all right, but not the best. It didn't, it didn't get like, it didn't get like a thousand views like like, like, like my figure videos. Like Jesus Christ, I actually don't, I actually don't know, I actually don't. I honestly don't get it how uh, my uh, I I just don't get it how my uh, Pax Xenoverse videos like the Jiren versus Gogeta or the Broly versus Gogeta video do like go up go to like hundred views. Meanwhile, my uh, Aaron versus Goku Black video and my uh, new Goku Vegeta video are still like my still 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 not a hundred for for uh, views and all that. I'm like, what's good? Wait, what? Why, 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 why isn't, why isn't this at this level? What, at this viewpoint? I'm just gonna guess that, I'm just gonna guess people are just being picky on what videos to watch and not watch and don't watch, but, hey, that's YouTube, but, but yeah. Speaking of YouTube, but, uh, I've been thinking, I I feel like that, uh, late, I feel like that, uh, I've been hop, I've been, I've been hopping on nostalgia, a nostalgia train for a little while, for this whole month, well, since last year, too, and, uh, I came to the conclusion that, uh, I, I need, I need to hop off the nostalgia train because, because, uh, well, okay, because I feel like that, uh, I'm not seeing a bigger picture when it comes to a uh, modern like YouTube, and uh, I want to and I want to hop off it just to see the bigger picture. If you get what I'm trying to say, so yeah. Because here's here's the thing people don't know about people people don't know about me. I uh. I do, I do go watch, like, uh, famous YouTubers old like, Twitch VODs to see, to see how, how were they back in the day, like, let's say around 2018 to 2019, and I'm like, huh, this is fascinating stuff, very interesting, and I look at, and I look at them now in the current day, I'm like, dang, what the, what the heck happened to you, <laughs> but I get it. I get it. 2020 changed a lot of people. It changed me too. But, so yeah. <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> Excuse me. But yeah. I want to say something. And I want to talk about this. If you saw. So. I want to say this. I made a treat today. Talking about if you see someone liking a show that. That, that you don't like, please don't.
don't say anything. Keep your opinion to yourself. Why did I, why did I make that tree? Well, today, a friend of mine made a tree talking about how much he loved he, he loves a certain show. I'm not going to say his name and all that, so I'm just going to keep it like this. And another jackass, an asshole, we can say, or a jerk, was being annoying about it by by bashing him for not liking the show while, while the jerk was giving his opinion why he hates the show. And I'm over here, I'm like, who the hell ask you? I don't care that's your opinion. You can have your opinion. That's fine. But buddy. No, not buddy. No, sir. 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 My friend just talked about how much he loved this show. And you're over here. You're over here talking about how much you hate the show. Think about it. Think about it. Do you really think that was a good idea? Do you really think that was a good idea? Cause, dude, I hate it when people, I hate when people act like that. Like, for fuck's sake. There are shows that I don't like that many others like, guess what? I keep my, I keep my opinion to myself. Not everyone can like the same thing. But keep that in mind. Just don't be an ass about it. Don't be a jerk about it either. Because, well, that just doesn't make you look like, like a good person, let's be honest. So moving on. So, uh, King Oger. I'll talk about King Oger or Jesus first. Matter of fact, yeah, no, okay, yeah, let's talk about King Oger first. So, Old Summer Sentai, Old Summer Sentai, King Oger. Episode 3, what did I thought about it? It was good. It was pretty good and decent, I can say. And for those that were whining about 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 the Yellow Ranger showing her legs in the cockpit of the resort. Just want to tell you guys this, but uh, the suit actors are male, so we're all good there. So calm down. We're all good there, guys. So anyway, moving from that, King Oja is really good. Episode three was interesting. <laughs> We saw the good and bad sides. Well, well, we saw like the good and bad for the character, you know, huh? See, see, be type of care. <laughs> see, be type of character that can't take like no constructive criticism. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just joking, by the way. But uh, but uh, the vibe that I got from the character felt like that. She would say that she would see take like, no constructive criticism, not one bit. <laughs> I find it funny, but that's all. But yeah, stupid type of character that that can't take like no constructive criticism, not like not one bit in the show. But uh, the, but uh, the but uh, the the interactions, but uh, the interaction she has with Gia in the episode was really good. Then we got Blue. I forgot his name. And he's simping, he's simping badly for her. I'm like, dude, calm down. She's not all that. She, she isn't all that worth it. Just saying. <laughs> but nah, but nah. He was simply too hard for her. He was simply too hard for her. And I love the jingos for the freaking swords. I hate red suit. I'm sorry. I just don't like. I just don't like red suit. It just doesn't click with me like like the others does. What's funny though, uh, I made a joke with with a friend of mine about about King Goldger being like Comrade Saber, and I and I DM him saying that the Saber could be in your hand, and I sang the and I sang the uh Saber opening to him, and uh and I he was like and he did not like it. he did not like it. It was funny, it was funny, and also the ad by that. Someone made a someone made a fan art of cross of cross saber. Well, well the well the well Gia, well Gia's Gia's suit being cross saber. Well, being like a cross saber type of suit. 
it was funny. It was funny. It was funny. I tagged my friend. I tagged my friend on it, and he said stop. I said never. <laughs> funny. It was funny. I'm sorry, but listen, dude. Those freaking uh, the the freaking King Gojo Caliber sword remind me of Saber so much, dude. I actually don't know why it remind me of Saber so much. It just fucking does. The saber in your hand <laughs> with the pencil, paper, and pen. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Leave me alone, okay? <laughs> ay, ay, ay. What the fuck? Yeah, guy. Yeah, guy. The saber's in your hands. So, so make sure so make sure you walk come right saber. <laughs> I don't want to like saber. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> But yeah, uh, the sa yeah, 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 the sa same with your hand when you watching King Oldger. <laughs> okay. Okay. To be fair, if Toma and Gia met each other, I will be on Gia's side 100%. I'll be like, okay. Okay, we got, we got Taro 2.0. I'm sorry, but, but I just gotta say this. Gia, Gia's giving me a, a, Momotaro, a dumb Motaro's vibe. Probably because his actor is trying to, probably, probably because, I'm going to guess that his actor watched Dawn Brothers when it's airing. And, uh, he really like, he really liked Taro's character. And, uh, he's trying to copy the laugh vibe he got from Taro's, Taro's actor from it. And that's true. And, uh, if that makes sense, then fair enough. Because it feel like, it feel like that Gia is really acting like Taro 2.0. And I know, and I gotta be not the, and I gotta be, and I have to not be the only one who saw that, who seen that, right? The whole, for the time of recording the episode, I have not watched episode four, so I want to keep that in mind. But I, but I can say, but I can say the benefit of doubt that uh, he felt like a Taro, uh, don't you point but a two point on Dumbo with Taro, and I, and I actually like it though. He look he looked really good he looked really good. Look well, good. He looked like a really good interesting cat that I can't wait to see it develop. I'm 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 hoping that uh he doesn't get like a, a god ugly super form. Well he can get so he he can get ugly power up in general, I know he did. Because I kinda not like I did not like the golden golden old Taijin. That that freaking bird looks so ugly. I hate the suit too, so moving on. It looked like a freaking repaint of the one caliber form from Saber. And that doesn't say much. It looks better than Saber than here. That, that's just my opinion. That, that's just my opinion. Move, move it on from that. Uh, I'm sorry. Moving on from that. Uh, but yeah, uh, King Ocho is really good. The mechs look cool. I like the suit, except for red. Except for red. I don't like red suit. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, dude. Red suit just doesn't vibe with me. I still, I still, I still get the, I still get the saber vibe from his suit, and that's just making it not good in my eyes. I like everyone else's suit. Everyone else's suit is growing on me, but yeah. So yeah, from what I know, episode four is gonna focus. Episode four is gonna focus on episode four is gonna focus on our tofu black ranger. Why did I say tofu black ranger? Cause well, the character really loves tofu, and well, he's the black ranger of the show, and he's giving he's giving off a bomba vibe from Real Soldier to me, for me, and I can't wait to see this. But to be fair, oh sorry, Ooh, my bad. Ooh. To be fair, his actor what well, his actor played the tenants. Human, de human gear and zero one. No joke, yeah, he did. And Rita, and, and we won't see Rita until like episode five. Well, next week, basically. Oh boy. You know what's crazy about that character? People were arguing. Well, someone made a Twitter account. Someone literally made a Twitter account. Tried to confirm, saying that. The character is non-binary, and a lot of people called a lot of people called out the account for this. I think they said non-binary or female or 
he well, or female. One or two. So here's what I'm going to say. The kid is a guy. Moving on. We don't know what gender this kid is. Well, the show, the show never said. We know the gender for all the other four, but not Rita. So, moving on. I'm like, damn. Listen. 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 Rita's going to be the emo type. I fuck, I'm all here for it. The last time we had, the last time, the last time we had like some, the last time we had like a, some type of emo character in Sentai. Fuck yeah, it was Stacy from it was Stacy from Zenkaiger. I want to say you're dumb now, but nah, nah, boy, you don't, you don't even emo anymore because of her fucking uh, your dumb spinoff, spinoff special stuff. I have not watched part three yet. I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna watch like next week. With a free, with a freaking fuck. I'm gonna watch it next week with a few friends of mine. <laughs> oh boy, that's gonna be fun. I'm not expecting ten out of ten out of this bullshit for watching this special. Only thing I know about this special that Flint's actress in there, Tomato's in there, Shiguru's in there, and you don't get a brand new form in there that looks totally stupid. I don't like it. Moving on. And I totally, and I totally understand the criticism of people saying she's people saying that she need to be a ranger. Me, yeah, I agree. See, I think duh. <laughs> I agree in the extent. Yeah, hear me out. Hear me out. I feel like that. Uh, Toby. I feel like that. Uh. Well, I'm just gonna say that. Toby doesn't care. Moving on. No, that's not. Let me explain. Here's the thing, you gotta remember this. Toby does not care for the US fan base. He only cares for his Japanese fan base. Cause well, it's a company that it's a, it's a company it's a company it's, it's a company that's only focusing on one on one brand well on one on one side of people. Well, well, no, I can't say that sounds totally wrong, fucked up racist. No, uh one whole country. Japan. It not it not care for it not care for a US it, it not care for overseas fans. They don't. They even made it pretty clear multiple times they don't care. Hell not just them. Freaking Bandai in Japan does not care for US fans. That's not true. No, it's true, let's be honest. They don't. They don't. Unless they the only thing they care about is your money, and that's it. Like, I hate to, I hate to be a sour puss, but, but like, I hate, I hate to be a sour puss, but uh, it's just true though. Toby does not care for a U.S. fan base. <laughs> not just U.S., other places outside Japan as well. Sorry, I just. I don't know. What, I don't know what to tell you guys, but it's just true. Is it? Is it harsh? Yeah, it is. It's harsh, but at the same time, you just gotta deal with it, though. You just gotta deal with it. Where's my proof of this? Oh boy, I can't even bring this up. So, who remembers when uh, the fan sub drama happened on in the community? For the, so, so for those that, for those that don't know. Toei did have a what? Ah, yes, the Roman Saber was happening. Toei sent a cease and desist to TV Nihon. And, uh, well, TV, well, TV Nihon can no longer do stuff for, like, Kamen Rider and, uh, and Sentai and other Toku projects because they got hit with a cease and desist. And, um, and a lot of fans who, uh, a lot of fans who, uh, who supported TV Nihon were butthurt about it and mad. And they were harassing Toei about it. And, like, and, uh, just want to say this, just want to say this, just want to say this. Toei made it clear, well, Shirokuru himself made it perfectly clear that he does not care. Where, where 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 we watch these shows from. You know, Shirakira, the producer of Toei himself. 
someone was with fan were caught fans were tagging him nonstop on Twitter, trying to tell him that uh trying trying to tell him that uh trying to tell him that uh we have like we have pirate websites and such and stuff to watch the show. And he sure curl sure curl to say, I did not care. Me and Tony did not care, but if you keep if you keep bugging us or pissing us off, we are gonna do some we're we are gonna stop the guy from watching these shows. And that's basically his Tony's response. And the fan base, the fandom in general, did not listen. You guys, you guys, you guys, when Tony say they don't care, they don't care. They may have cleared multiple times though. They just don't they don't care. Like, for real, I'm all down. Man. I'm all down to have come over in America. I am. But at the same time, Toei just does not care. Toei just not care about about his fan base. You think I'm lying? Hell no. I'm not. I'm, I'm not the only Toku content creator who may have fucking who may like a freaking treat about that. Freaking uh, Hercules made a tweet about like what this week I think or last week one or two. Yeah, he's not wrong though. Ferga, I think he made it. Ferga, I think he made a treat. I think he did, but if he did, okay. But yeah, uh, mo but yeah, moving on from that. Moving on from that negativity. Uh, Jeets. Jeets is, uh, really good. I'm actually enjoying it, not gonna lie. Good stuff. Mr. Uh, Koichi himself, Sakamoto, directed this episode. And you can totally tell he did fight by the camera angle and, uh, body language for the fight scenes and all that. Really good episode. And also, uh, <laughs> freaking Ace. My man was so. My man was tired when he uh, when he, when he trained from into Mark, when he trained from the Mark Two. So this might be a little bit of a hot take, but not, but I want to say this. Please don't treat these forms like the, like, uh, shiny and uh, salt hopper. If you know on top, you know on top of. You know how Shiny Hopper has not been used pretty well in the show. I feel like Mark II might be the Shiny Hopper in the show. I'm really hoping they don't treat it like that. And uh, Assault Hopper became his main super form through the whole show. Until, well, upgrade form we can say. Through the whole show until Metal Cluster can't happen in Zero One. And I feel like... Laser boost is gonna be assault, assault signing hopper for his upgrade form in the show. I'm really hoping that he doesn't get a berserk form because I'm talking about Ace because Ace does not need one, dude. I'm sorry, I'm getting tired of berserk forms in Toku. Zero one last time was good, it was fucking saber, dude. I love Premier Dragon. That's a cool suit. Jingles pre fire. It's go hard as well. I like Premier Dragon. Not buying the figure. Fuck no. Premier Dragon is a cool suit and cool design. <sighs> Jack Revice. All right. So I know I know people don't see that as a berserk form, but I'm the opposite. I actually see it. I actually see it as a berserk form of the show. Why is that? Well, here's why. It feels like one to me. And what I mean by that is this. It feels like a berserk form. It feels like a berserk form for me in the show. Because when a freaking Gifu brainwashed Vice, Vice went haywire while, while, while being the crap out of Gene and Daiji. And I'm over here like, is this? I'm I'm over here like, wait a minute, is this a berserk form? Wait a minute, wait a minute, is this a berserk form? Because it felt it felt like a berserk form. 
And I say that because, dude, they feel like they pull a zero one for that. And it feel like a freaking berserk form. You cannot convince me otherwise. And I can't realize, yeah, 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 the train, the, 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 the train Jack revised like a berserk form. And it sucks, okay? I have to, I have to, I have to, I have to, sorry. It sucks. It sucks, Akai. Okay. I actually like. I actually like Jack Levi. It's a cool suit. Is it one of my favorites? Personally, no. But uh, it's a but uh, it's a good it's a good looking suit. But yeah, the last time uh, last time Kamran had like a last time Kamran had like a good berserk form. Yeah, it was Premier Dragon. It was Premier Dragon. And I'm hoping that Ace doesn't get one because he really does need a berserk form, dude. Cause I'm getting tired. I'm getting tired of the berserk form. It could take him like what twenty episodes for him to not control it. Then uh, out of nowhere, he can get like a power up to to help control that berserk form. Then bam, that becomes his super form until he get his ultimate form, dude. Well, dude, we're around like the twentieth episode of the show. My fucking god, <laughs> I can only see this shit happening. And by the way, I want to say this. I'm loving Jeet so far. I just want to say this. I'm having a fun time watching this show. It's funny though. I wasn't expecting the show to be this good. I wasn't expecting for, I wasn't expecting the show to be this good. But nah. Nah, it did. It freaking punched me in the face like damn Black Sun did. Speaking of Black... <laughs> no, uh. Speaking of... Oh. Black Sun. I... I I already said how I, I already said about why I love it so much on this episode, but I want I want I just want to say this. I just want to say this. Tamashi Nations, hello, let's talk. So, when you guys gonna make that Aoi uh, figure art? <laughs> listen, I need the big listen. So, for those that don't know, on Twitter, I have a I have a I I made I have my big three for female Raywall riders. And Weiwa. But I can, I would have Valkyrie and Sibella, but I'm going to keep those two out. This, this is just for right now in current. Right now. Right now. Right now. Between Jeets, Black Sun, and uh, Revice. My big three. We have Aoi, Aguilera, and, uh, well, Nago. I had two. I had, well, I had Nago on pre-order on Premium Bandai. I have Aguilera. She's on my shelf. Right next to my black son. And uh with with my owl uh with my owl figure. Hell, you can hell you can make a freaking civilian figure if you all all, all that all that matter. All that all that all that all that, all that might matter, but no I do. You can make a owl civilian figure and I will still buy that. Not just that, her kaiju form too, her mantis form. I will buy that shit as well. Give me that, you cowards. <laughs> I know you want to. Ay, ay, ay. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> I want it. And no, I'm not buying her fucking... No, I know. Bandai working on her CSM. Same for Shadow Moon. I'm not buying the... I'm not buying the damn... <clears throat> sorry. I'm not buying the damn CSM, dude. I want the fucking figure art of that shit. Fucking Soda made a figure of her. In her mantis form. I want a figure out of that shit. Damn it. <laughs> boy. Yeah, oh, boy. Yeah, oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. That's just me, uh, begging for, well, more good stuff because Tamashi. Just, just give it to me, Tamashi. Just give it to me. Speaking of like good stuff, uh, my next like toy review, it's gonna be on the essay figure arts in Kaiju Black, and uh, I have a lot, of, I have like a lot of good things to say about this guy. He's so really good. I'm actually surprised. And yes, I know I think the exact same figure as in Kaiju, but uh, you'll be surprised about what I have to say about this guy. So yeah, he's a good figure. If you have. Is he Premier Bandai? Yeah, he actually is. He's a he's a Tamashi Red. He's a Tamashi uh, Web Shop. No, 
he's he's a Tomashi event exclusive figure. So I will say this: if you can find it for a good price, then I recommend using websites like Mandrake or Ami Ami, because we know so because we know that the Senkoku Seiho top. Super Tom the Bar Ores is a decent, cheap, somewhat cheap price, even though that figure was, even though that figure is a, uh, Tomashi event exclusive from two years ago. So, yeah. And yeah, a lot of people, a lot of people still made to get that figure in. So, yeah. But, uh, but, uh, yeah. Thank you all for watching. Oh, yeah. Before I start that. I, last episode, I forgot to talk about this movie, but, uh, <laughs> last episode, I watched the Revice movie, the, e the well, I watched the Demon Evil slash Live movie, Revice v Cinema, and, uh, I gotta say, I watch it, I fucking loved it, dude, okay, hey, hear me out. This movie, oh shit, oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit. This uh movie punched me in the fucking face, like Jesus Christ. I had a, I had a, I had like a freaking emotional, emotional uh moment watching this movie way more than the actual show. And my God, this movie felt like, this movie felt like that uh it did something, it did something way better than the actual show. It's way better than Battle Battle Familia. For Battle Familia was. Eh, it was a meh movie, some movie. I didn't like it, but uh, this movie was really good. Our boy Sakamoto's back at it again. Yes, he directed this movie. It had like, it had like a, it had like, see, it had like an Ultraman. Well, character. Well, I don't know. Her actress was an Ultraman. I'm talking about Yuko herself. Her actress was in this movie, and she played like one of the well villains you kind of say in the movie. And uh, yeah, just don't like the suits. Don't like the suits. Don't like the suits. But move aside from that, I got. I just gotta say this. What's up with the uh, ending showing? What's up? What's up with the ending showing showing off of clip shows for the in, for the intro song? <laughs> My fucking god, that intro song was that intro song's pretty good. But at the same time. My God, my God, Tori, you, 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 you really, you guys really wanted them to copy. You guys really wanted them to copy off the Dawn Brothers, Dawn Brothers cast, didn't you? My fucking God, <laughs> you really wanted them. You really wanted them to copy off the Dawn Brothers cast. So badly for that. That's a big ooh for damn. That's just damn. That's a suck right there. <laughs> I fucking love Dumb Bros. Dum 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 the brother. Dum 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 dum. Yeah, I love Dumb Bros. Moving on. I love Dumb Brothers. <laughs> but yeah, but uh, yeah, the 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 VC are pretty good. If you if you haven't seen it, I recommend go watch it. Uh yeah yeah, I give it like an eight. Good movie. I'm not I'm not buying a live figure. Moving on. <laughs> So yeah, that's so yeah, that's thank thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and put the notification but put the notification button on for my next video, which will probably be well. Besides this, the Zenkaiji Black review will be out next week. Don't know when. And uh, yeah, uh, yeah, thank yeah, thank you all for watching. Have a nice day or night wherever you live at, and I'll uh, see you next time. My name's Aaron, broke you and me, and uh, peace. Thank <laughs> you.